keep in mind when we're doing these, the, the number part of this, the square root of 450, that part right there is the same as what we've been doing. All right, so the new stuff here is what we're going to do with the F's and the G's and the H. Um, so first thing we're going to do, just like we normally do for um, simplifying a square root, is make a factor tree and then rewrite the problem. So I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to go underneath. So I've got my equal sign, uh, square root, and then under the square root we're going to have... 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. All right, and then the, the F and the G and the H part, that part I'm just going to bring down again. I, I don't have to do anything with that yet until I start taking stuff to the outside. So I have F to the 5th times G to the 6th times H to the 7th, and I'll make my square root a little bit bigger to cover that all up. All right, what are we looking for next? Pairs. All right, we, I see a pair of threes here and a pair of fives. So on the outside for the number part, we get 15. And now the variables. So with the variables, how many Fs do we have? Five. Is five odd or even? It's odd, right? So when we pair these up, when we pair these Fs up, we're going to have one of them left over, right? So we're going to have one left over, and the other four get paired up into how many pairs? Two pairs. So we're going to have f to the second power on the outside. All right, how about g's? We have, we have six of them, right? Six is an even number, so they're all going to get paired up into how many pairs? Three. And then the h's, h's h has an odd exponent, so we're going to have one left over, uh, which means we're pairing six of those h's up and getting how many pairs? Three. All right, now we're looking at what's left on the inside. So first, what number didn't get circled here? Two. That's going to stay in there. And then do we have any Fs left over? Yeah, yeah we have one left over because that was an odd number of Fs. Uh, do we have any Gs left over? No. No, there was an even number, so they all went to the outside. Uh, do we have any Hs left over? Yeah. Yeah, we have one of those. And we're done. So quick question before I move on to the next one. Is it possible to have more than one of a variable left over? So I had one f left over here. Could I have had two left over? No. Why not? Because if I had two left over, what could we do with them? We could have paired them up and taken them outside, right? Could I have three left over? No, because if I had three left over, we could take two of them and pair them up, take those outside, and then have one left over. So when we're looking at leftovers, there's either going to be none left over or there's going to be one left over. That's it, right? So we're never going to have an exponent on the inside numbers. On the outside, we'll have exponents because that's how many pairs we get. All right, example five. On this example here, this is kind of like what we did in the opener. I think you could, be, you could do this one um, on your own. I'm going to give you a second to give it a try. First thing we're going to do, just like what we did first when we were multiplying square roots last week, is... Same thing we did first in the last problem. Factor trees, right? So we're going to factor those radicands. Uh, when we're factoring the radicands, we only need to do the, the number part of it. And then we're going to rewrite. Now, when we're multiplying square roots and we rewrite this, we can put them all in one big square root, right? So when we do that, um, we're going to have how many twos do we get? How many threes? How many fives? How many sevens? How many thirteens? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, how about the variable part? So first of all, we haven't really talked about this yet, but I have K's, I have M's, I have N's. Which one do you think should come first when I write this? K or M or N? K. K. Why K? Because it's first in the alphabet. We're going to write these in alphabetical order. So we're going to put the K's first. Um, how many K's do we have total? Three. three, right? We've got three here and none over there, so we're going to have three total. So it's going to be K to the third power. Um, M's we've got in both of them. So how many M's do we have here? Six. Well, how many do we have here? And how many do we have here? For a total of six. So that's going to be M to the sixth power. And then for N, how many N's do we have total? One. Just one, right? Just that one right there. All right, so now we're looking to get stuff on the outside, which means we're looking for 
We look at pairs. All right, we got a pair of twos. We got a pair of fives. Two times five gives us ten. All right, and then if we look at the Ks, we have three of them. Three's odd. So we pull that odd one out. We've got two left over that we're going to pair up. How many pairs of Ks does that give us? Just one pair of Ks, right? So that one pair of Ks is going to be the two Ks that are on the inside. Um, we have six Ms. That's even, so they're all going to get paired up. How many do we get? Three. Three. And then we have one N. How many pairs of Ns can we get out of one of them? None, right? So we're not going to have any Ns on the outside. All right, leftovers now on the inside. First of all, looking at the numbers, we have a 3 and a 7 leftover. Does that mean 37? Now we multiply them together, we get 21. Do we have any Ks left over? Yep, we have 1 because that was an odd number to start with. How about Ms? No. no. How about Ns? Yeah. This last example here, I'm going to give you a head start again. Uh, give this a try on your own, and then we'll go over it. So let's start with the factor trees. Factor that 10, get 2 and 5. Factor the 21, we get 3 and 7. So we're going to rewrite it now. Uh, start the rewrite with the equal sign. Uh, what else do I need in my rewrite here when I'm rewriting the problem before I put my square root? I need that 2, right? This 2 that's out in the coefficient, out on the outside, um, that's going to go on the outside here. And then on the inside, we've got to combine our two factor trees. So what are we going to get? 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Does that look right? Yes. All right. How many? Should I do P first or Q first? P. P. How many P's do we get? One. Just one. Okay. How about Q's? One. one. Okay. So we're looking for pairs, right? How many pairs do you guys see? There aren't any pairs, right? So nothing else is going to go on the outside, just that 2 that was there to start with. On the inside, we need to simplify this. What's 2 times 3? 6. six. What's 6 times 5? 30. 30. And 30 times 7? 210. 210. All right, and then what else do we have left in there? P and a Q. That's it. So this one didn't really simplify at all. All we could do here is multiply it together and then we're done.